I'd grown up really in Calgary all my life. I was a plumber and gas fitter by trade. And I had a stroke 12 years ago and here I am. A sudden health crisis or an economic one. And the results are felt here at the downtown mission in Windsor. Statistics show that for every job that was lost in the auto industry, it impacted seven other positions somewhere else. We have people who now come to the mission who say to us, you know, rather ashamedly at times, you know, I was once a donor, I once supported you guys, and look at me now, I'm using your services. Thank God you folks are still here. And the church, I think, is a beacon of hope for people. Right? I mean, traditionally throughout the ages, people have recognized that the church is a place of sanctuary, it's a place of safety, and it's a place that you can get help. And, uh, and so that's an important thing for us. Um, being in the church also allows us to do, um, just to remind ourselves that we are a faith-based ministry and that, um, you know, we're all people of God and, and this is, you know, God's work, God's house. Most of the programs revolve around food. There is a hot noon meal and emergency food available to tide people over. But there is also a concerted effort to support people who want to work at something. As far as our members that, you know, that are sitting on the floor, you know, waiting for lunch, so to speak, um, most of them volunteer on their own. They have a sense that, look it, I'm here, I'm down on my luck, but I still want to give back. Um, all of our gardening out in the front was done by a gentleman named Mario who insisted that, you know, listen, I, I need your help, clearly, but I don't want it for free. And, and, you know, he did gardening that we can't afford to do ourselves, nor do we have uh, the time to do from a staff perspective. Um, so there's a gentleman who just stepped up. And for others, the mission helps them off the streets. I had nowhere to sleep, so at one time I, you know, I had to come here and I stayed for a couple months. But now I got a place for the first, which is good, you know. We, uh, we serve between the hot meal program and the food bank, about 130,000 meals a year out of this building. That's pretty significant. And basically, uh, we just recently went to two separate sittings for lunch, uh, one at 11.30 and one at 12.15, and that's based on the sheer numbers. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, if we were at um, 150 people, 160 people for, for lunch, you know, it was a busy day. Now our average is 200. We're pushing 240, 250 some days. Um, and we suspect that in the very near future, we, we may see the 300 mark. We could not exist without, without the folks from the United Church and others like them that, uh, that continuously support us. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts.